Hello, Gary Hernandez here, and welcome to Kane Self-Defense with Master Gary Hernandez. This video is going to be on the short side because I want to just cover something that I think everybody should be doing, whether you're just a martial artist training in Kane Self-Defense or an average person who's just training in Kane Self-Defense, or basically you're just getting ready to get up and start your day and mosey on out the house with your cane. It's basically stretching your body with your cane. It's very important to have everything stretched out so when you have to swing or move real fast, nothing, you're not gonna pull or pop nothing. Now basically, you wanna do kind of a full body stretch. We're only gonna go through this you know, a couple uh, seconds per thing just to show it to you. I'm gonna angle this camera a little bit lower. Let's see if I can't get the first part. <clears throat> I'm gonna have my cane and I'm gonna set it on the floor. I'm just gonna stand like this. I'm just gonna lean on my cane. Now I'll come closer so you can see what I'm gonna do. And when that's, as I'm leaning on my cane, I'm just gonna loosen my neck. Just loosen it up. I'm gonna go that way. I'm gonna go this way. You're gonna turn. You're gonna look down. You're gonna look up while you're keeping your body still while you're leaning on your cane. You're gonna do that about a minute, loosen everything up. <clears throat> then we're gonna go up to more of the arms and shoulders. <clears throat> Good way to do this is hold your cane straight out in the middle. I wanna have it in the middle. I'm gonna put one hand over here on my shoulder area so I can isolate what I'm doing. And I'm going to loosen up my wrist area. Just like that. Again, do this for about a minute minute and a half, you know, each one. Then I'm gonna go ahead and start to loosen up my elbow area. Loosen that whole joint area. So I'm gonna make sure you don't smack yourself. Now I'm gonna loosen up my chest. I'm gonna do wide out and in. Now you don't have to do these very fast and you don't have to do these very hard. Just kind of loosen them up. And then I'm gonna rotate it. And again, you can do anywhere between 30 seconds to two minutes. About a minute should be good to get you loosened up. And then I'm gonna go the other way. Just always make sure you're not gonna smack nothing in your room wherever you're doing it, okay? <clears throat> Very important, we do both sides, so then I would throw it in this side. Again, I'm just gonna rotate. I'm just doing this a couple times to show you. Then I'm gonna go up and down. Then I'm gonna cross, nice, wide, <clears throat> loosen that whole chest area up. Then I'm going to get those shoulders loosened up. Just like that. Then I'm going to hold two hands and I'm going to do a full swivel. Loosen everything up. Once I do that. Then I'm going to lower this camera a little bit so you can see the other part. So hang on there. Hopefully I don't drop you guys. All right. Sorry about that. Now I'm gonna simply put my cane here and I'm gonna swivel my hips. Loosen them up. I know, I always get that one guy saying you should have a top hat because <laughs> you got your cane. But I wanna loosen the hips up. Now I'm gonna simply keep my feet apart. I'm gonna stretch my back. And I'm just simply gonna hold my cane up and just stretch my back. Gonna let that go. Again, I'm not gonna do a full stretch, I'm just showing you, but I'm basically holding my cane and I'm just stretching that. Now I'm gonna take the cane, put it to my lower portion of my back, and stretch this way. Need a good back stretch. <clears throat> good back stretch, make sure to take your head with it. Then back down again, same thing, just let it stretch while you're holding your cane. Then again, the back stretch. Then once you've done that, take it a little bit wider, go back to the center again, and then you can go to your left and just go down your leg. Then after a little bit, go to your right, same thing. So besides stretching down, you're gonna wanna go to your left and stretch to your right. So you get a better stretch doing that. So you definitely wanna do that. Let me bring you back up again for a minute. Hold that thought. I don't have my normal camera thing with me, so sorry about that. 
<clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so, do those stretches. Again, sorry about the camera. I just don't have my regular camera holder that adjusts better. But after you're done stretching the upper and stretching the lower, then you'll be nice and more relaxed in the body, loosened up. That way, when you're swinging your cane around, everything's loosened up and you haven't pulled anything. It's just a nice, comfortable, relaxing movement. So very important, stretch with your cane. Hold on to it. Do I need the cane to stretch? No, you don't. But when you're holding on to it, it gives you more of a isolated area. You're stretching because you're stretching that wrist. You're swinging it for a reason. A little bit of weight to help stretch that elbow out, that shoulders, open up the pecs, two hands, swivel and loosen that back. So it gives you an opportunity to stretch your body. And so you definitely want to do that. Us as martial artists, we're always stretching before we train. And most sports do. Football, soccer, baseball, everybody stretches. Well, when you're going out with your cane, Take that morning, get up in the morning, take a good shower, get the blood warmed up, and then start stretching. You spend five minutes stretching in the morning, you're going to feel a lot better throughout the rest of the day. And if you have to use your cane, you're nice and limber, ready to go. So don't forget, those are some stretching tips. I hope they help. And we'll see you guys next week. Um, didn't have nothing last week. I was actually on vacation, so that's why I didn't really post anything. But take care, guys, and I hope that helps. If you have any questions, comments, please let me know. Again, Gary Hernandez, and thank you.